and the yeah, it's, 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 it's just like a, here, it's just here, like, here's here, here here's the thing. They always try to you know make the control the buttons for PS uh, three and Xbox totally different. That's true, and I, I bear witness witness to this because I played both Calamity Trigger on both PS three and Xbox. Yeah, PC version is like uh, from my experience from playing uh, Calamity Trigger was like, eh, I could deal with it. But yeah, and I really, but still, I do really hope this revival of the Guilty Gear series goes well. I hope so too. It's not really a big deal, but hopefully, it will become uh, available available on PS uh, three and four. Yes. All right. The next subject we're going to go ahead and begin with is here. Here's the news about this: that they're going. Uh, Nintendo is releasing a oh. new add-on for the Wii U. Which is the uh, the GameCube adapter for uh, the Wii U? Yes. Tell me what your thoughts are on this, guys. Honestly, I think it's gonna be a good thing, to because this is these these are for these are for those who love to play the old classic tournament games like uh, like Smash Brothers for one. Since that that we talked about a while back. Yeah, because I from what I heard, um, they're using this specifically for. The, the Smash Brothers tournament that they're having in California, which is the e, which they're showing at E3, and they're and guess who's hosting this? Shigeru Miyamoto. No. <laughs> it, it's uh, Je, I think it was Joff or Jeffrey uh, Kingley. Yes. Yeah. Jeffrey. King, yeah. Jeffrey King, Kingley is hosting this. Yeah. I believe, and of course, a lot of people they even announced it, the the tournament players. I forgot what they were though, because I even watched the video of it. Wow, really? Yeah, they had they 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 officially announced the tournament players. That's cool. Yeah, now it's actually there's actually a thought there's actually a thought I just had now about the game controller being coming up for the Wii. This actually opens up a bunch of new possibilities for new games for the Wii U. Yeah, because the thing is, is that here 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 was the the. The last time when they when they released it, you remember when they released it, Wii, right? And they had they had yeah, the GameCube, yeah. they had the the one with the GameCube um, support. Yeah, the add-on on top. Yeah, because they wanted to do this because they they felt that it would work well with um, with uh, Super Smash Brothers when they released it on Wii. Well, yeah, yeah they they true. wanted to make sure that everyone knew that it was backwards compatible in all aspects, even controller wise. Yeah, and, and that was a good yeah. selling point for the Wii. Whenever the Wii U came out, and we wanted to try, and it said you could play your Wii games and GameCube games on it. Well, I don't think it's the GameCube games. I don't remember. Well, how can I use my GameCube controller then? That's true. And not right now, right now, to my knowledge, uh, you play can't play GameCube games on the Wii U from yeah, correct. Yeah, with the Wii remote. Yeah, you're right. And the Wii Pro con- uh, Wii Pro controller. Yeah, you can't use GameCube games on the Wii U right now. I know, and the thing is, this would possibly help them because a lot of people were asking if they could put GameCube. Help, even myself asked. I actually asked them if they could please put GameCube games on the Wii U. Yeah, and honestly, the firmware with, with the, reads it. Yeah, because, not really firmware, but more more virtual console type scenario. Because I know that they're they're focusing on the digital uh, download market. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, and this this opens up a new a bunch of new possibilities for the virtual console. But I understand this is basically because they've been proven uh, a lot of um, emulator uh, guys, uh, emulator uh, people who messed around with the Wii U claim that you can play GameCube games on the system. Because you can, they they use this uh, software called uh, I think it was um, Wii Regeneration or something like that. I forgot what it was called though. But it's, you're basically hacking the system though, which is the bad yeah, thing. Yeah, it's a bad thing, but hack the it. Planet, hack but the, the thing is, yeah, pretty much hack the Wii U, hack the Wii U, bitches. Yeah, hack the and Wii U. which which is which is uh, basically, but if you, if you're hacking Wii U, you're 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 damaging something in there. Not really. They they try to. Do I mean, this. I mean, it's, it's not remember, enough. Remember physical. when they tried to do the uh, the Super Smash Bros. M project? Yes, I remember that. Uh, Nintendo tried to ban people for doing that because they felt it wasn't uh, necessarily a good idea. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. That's that's what I was thinking because of. Because they, it's basically modding. It wasn't really hacking. It was just modding uh, the gameplay for the, for Smash Brothers on the Wii U. 
on the Wii. Yeah, that's true. But the th- the issue that they did it that when people did it on the Wii, they were like, "No, we're, we can't let you do that. We're sorry." See, th- this true. is why consoles are are somewhat failing towards PC, because with most games out there on PC, you can mod the crap out of them. Yeah, and the yes. thing is, Nintendo is their their issue is PC is not their peripheral for for this system. No, I That's mean for true. for customer base. I know. You know, if the people want to mod something for their side only to view, you know, go ahead, let them. You know, you know? actually, I actually have to agree with it. The fact is, but the issue is, is that they're they're afraid that people will exploit it. That's the issue. If so, if someone found like a code, they might just hack into it and just do something with it. Welcome to and the yeah. internet. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I can, I, I can see not, the reasoning there. But the the issue that most people... The, the thing is, I actually have to agree with the, the community. They really just want to put games into the Wii U. They're not trying to hack the Wii U. They just want to put play the games that are in the game, that are in the system, that used to be on the system for Nintendo. Yeah. Like, they wanted to put... Uh, let's just say they wanted to put um, Pokemon... Uh, Arena Pokemon Coliseum. Oh, or and Stadium. Yeah, and Stadium. Into... Oh, those are so much fun. Yeah, and, yes, and Nintendo's are. like, we can't do that. The fuck you can? They just proved you wrong. Yeah. Because <laughs> a lot of people are like, you, you realize you're competing against the emulator programmers who actually are doing this for you, right? Yeah. And who know how to do this and can easily get it done and pass it out to God knows anyone. Yeah, for oh, actually, free. This, this, this and yet you're not making any money off of it. Yeah, this kind of brings up a thought that I just realized. If, uh, if, if, uh, if, if Nintendo released for the Wii U a GameCube disc support, they would be able to br- revive all the old GameCube games that are no longer selling. I know, and the thing is, this would... But pro- that's just another add-on they have to buy just to play their games. I know. Instead and, of just going back to their it, Wii or their GameCube. And you have to realize, a lot of people own, like, the white system, and it may take a lot of memory. Yeah. Because I I, I own a, I own a Wii U 8-gig model, and it's like, that's a lot of memory to handle. That's because true. Because it can only... The limit is 3 gigs, and... It, once you once it it has eight gigs, but the limit is about three gigs. Once it goes past that, it will it will slowly freeze it. Here's a question for you. Mm-hmm. Um, what's the format for the hard drive inside the Wii U? The format is Good a. Question. I think it's flash. It's flashed. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Um, okay, I was saying because if you can just change out the hard, you know. Uh, ghosted to a bigger hard drive. I did. I have a USB. I have a USB hard drive, but I have it like uh, power set in. Mm. Yeah, like a two terabyte hard drive. Because I that's got what a five hundred. I have a. That's what old uh, roommate did with her PS3. She ghosted uh, all of her all of her PS3, even the, the entire thing, on a new hard drive and put in. Uh, we went from five hundred to a two terabyte because we needed more space. Yeah, I I can Very understand cool. that because really Nintendo doesn't really have. That's why it wasn't selling well because if they're gonna put more games onto the system, which they're not, they they probably need a lot more space on their on, on their system because 32 ain't cut gonna cut it. You probably need a hard drive for it too, which I had to buy, and that's what pretty much. Um, was the issue I believe that people have a hard time buying the system because it would be too costly to buy an extra USB um, external hard, hard drive. drive for it because you're spending like if you're spending on a used one which is like uh, for used Wii U which is probably around 200 something dollars or 260 mm-hmm. which the, which I actually that's how I got mine or 360 which is the average price that people charge for a Wii U why do I, why do I get the feeling that Nintendo is now going down the same path as Sega? Every, y'all y'all remember the Sega CD the attachment yes. to that, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I remember. yeah. Yes, I did. And then I remember yeah. then I remember the Sega Saturn, which I yeah, used to Saturn own. Saturn was badass. Saturn was badass. No, no, I've got to say it was the Dreamcast. That was the badass one. Yeah, Dreamcast uh, was there. the badass one. Unfortunately, Sega because, Saturn. Well, yeah. The issue with that system was it, they. I remembered. Uh, 
from an interview from one of the guys from, uh, I believe, I think it was Dream Software or something like that. I forgot what their name was. They were the R. They they developed a lot of RPGs. Mm-hmm. Like um, India Two. Uh, I think it was Silver Star Story Part One and Two. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I oh, remember Lunar. that. Lunar was on the Sega Saturn first. Yeah, it was. And then it got imported to PlayStation. PlayStation. Yeah. Yeah. I was so glad whenever they made the import. Yeah. Actually, they're, they're, this brings and then thought, you remember you remember when they got out the bonus content for it? Remember? Oh. Yeah. yeah. I remembered that. I was like, oh, this is actually pretty cool. F- movie there's actually there's actually a, a bit of a rumor i heard about the game about the dreamcast uh i actually heard the rumor has it that uh game game and uh, the dreamcast uh, uh um well they started making games for it was a translation dispute between the uh u.s and japan they didn't want to they didn't want to butchering their games yeah that that kind of that's always an issue between Japan and America. Yeah, yeah, especially... and that, that's 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 the, what I heard was the reason behind why they don't make GameCube. I mean, why they don't make Dreamcast games any longer anymore. Because the 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 issue was, from what I understand, they couldn't really. They were they were about to sell it. Actually, they had a lot of money losses from Sega's side. Sega, uh, from what I remember, uh, one of their uh, CEOs died. Really? Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, one of their CEOs in, uh, of Sega died, and they pretty much were losing. Oh, oh wow. well, if we're, if we're going to go on the top, if we're going to go on the quick topic of uh, gaming companies and money issues, you do realize that the only reason why Sony is still up and running is because of their gaming uh, division. All other aspects of their companies is slowly going Dying. down the drain. I know. They, they, they pretty much gave up on their PC thing, too. Sony is the only... Uh, the Sony Entertainment of America and their gaming systems is their only saving grace right now. Yeah. There's also... Even Nintendo. Nintendo is actually suffering... Even at a loss, they're still going... They're still going... The only one not really suffering right now is Bill Gates. <laughs> <laughs> because I think this was just a whim of his. He wanted to get into the gaming industry and realized, oh, it works. Look, more money. Hold on. I think you I want to buy a Lamborghini. He's, he's Five, more into four, the software aspect three, of the business. Two, one, done. Five million. Five billion. <laughs> Wow. But, just, five but the, wow. Thing, the thing is, the thing is, he's more, he's, they're a software company, not a hardware company. They decided to get into the hardware well, now business. They're both. Yeah, now they're built, but they're still having issues too with the the Xbox One. Very true. Yeah, but they don't have, they don't have to rely on it and, you know, and go, oh shit, we have to make this work because they still have everything else Microsoft working just fine. Yeah, they got the royalty rights for their software. That's, That's why true. they can bully you with Xbox Live and make you pay to go online. Yeah, no. Right now, they're from what I heard, they're 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 toning it down a little bit. Yeah, can, I yeah. heard that they're dropping the prices. They're dropping the prices significantly for uh, online pl- for online play for the uh, subscriptions, yeah. which is actually really good. You, which you're, you, which good you can allow. Which they allow you to stream for free. Yeah. Stream like Netflix yeah. or any other thing for free, I believe. Right, wait, but back but back on the GameCube controller subject. I think I think I th- sorry. Yeah, yeah, but ba- back to the back to that. I think this is a good thing for a Nintendo to do, to do for the Wii U. It's going to really open up a lot of possibilities. I do I, agree. I'm going to say it's a good first step. But for future if they want to do backwards compatibility, they're going to have to think really hard on how they want to do it to make it look seamless because, because this is basically a reaction to the the Super Smash Bros tournament. It really and, is, and I think it's also because they're they they're finally listening to their uh, their customers. I know which are the, the like tournament how players. Play the new game, you know, we always play with GameCube controllers, not the Wii Boat. You know, it's always been GameCube controllers ever ever since. Yeah, you know, and the, the, the like like the Wii Mo and the like gamepad would just seem very very yeah. awkward. And their biggest seller yeah. right now is, um, right now from what I heard is. Uh, Mario Kart 8, which I am still waiting for them to deliver. I, I'm very bad at racing games, even Mario Kart. So I, I'm somewhat average at it, but I love like, I'm, 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 I'm very, very good Mario at racing Kart games. 8. But give me a double dash on the back part of it with, that does the items, and I will make sure no one touches you. <laughs> 
Yeah, honestly, I'm very good at racing games. I've I, I played Need for Speed, um, um, freaking Burnout.